weekdays at 2 on Local 3. If you are hoping to make this new year one where you get more organized, and forgive me, I know we're deep into January, but we're all still thinking about how to make the year a productive one. Whether it's your spice cabinet, your closet, uh, your bathroom, or your attic you know what a daunting task that can be. Well, Robin Blankenship is back on the show with us. She has Next Chapter Transitions, and the transitions is the operative word uh, mm -hmm. for us this morning because you've come on before talking about how you can help people relocate, but you can transition in your same home, uh, a space that you use from not working to working for you mm -hmm. with the right organizing. So exactly. good to see you. Thank you, good to be back. I think this is so smart because you were telling me that this kind of was born from helping people in those relocation times and then other clients have begun reaching out saying, look, I could use this same help. They, they have and we've joined and when that became sort of something that we saw it grew organically out of what we already did it's a completely now separate kind of division of our company that we do this kind of work and we got a lot of training from NAPO which is the National Association of Productivity and Organizing Professionals and it we do a lot of work in this area and it's it's really fun work what I want to jump in and say because she's got lots of pictures we're gonna have a chance to look at and she said first of all they're real people's pictures <laughs> the other thing Thing is you're not after the Pinterest glossy oh look it's perfect image you're after usability and mm -hmm. lasting yeah I think a, a lot of people and we like to make things look beautiful so sure. don't get me wrong but I think a lot of people it's easy to fall into with social media postings and all that people wanting to make this picture beautiful and make it look with all the colors matching or all the books by you know all the blue books all the green books all mm -hmm. the pink books all the red books and that as a book lover would drive me out of my mind because <laughs> I want to be able to find you know I know that all my biographies are in this area That's and right. all the so it, it may not look as perfect but we try to really spend the little front end time mm -hmm. and understand the client understand what makes them tick how, how does their brain work because people are very different there's there's a thing called stuff in and stuff out people and people that are stuff in I like everything filed away I'm one of those I like things orderly um, but people think that people that have piles on their desks are all unorganized right. not necessarily they have to have stuff or they will forget about it if it goes in a file and you just have to work with that and there are ways to get certain filing systems and things that work for that kind of person. Well, and, and having the right pieces of equipment, so to speak, mm -hmm. makes all the difference in the world, but it can take it can be overwhelming sometimes because there are, there are so many choices. So if you came to my house and I said, look, I'm, a, I'm kind of a neat freak, I am. Yeah. My closet is color coordinated mm -hmm. and all that, kind of, but I am an out of sight, out of mind girl. Mm -hmm. So if I don't see it. You forget it. I forget So you're a stuff there. out person, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean you're not organized. It's just how your brain works. Right, and I don't like clutter. Mm -hmm. So clear things would be good for mm -hmm. me if I was having to Correct. use storage. That's part of what you're able to do, right? Yeah, I, and also, what. I I find over and over, first of all, people, there's this weird shame about like needing, like I, to have to ask someone for help and they're always like, I'm so sorry, it's a mess, I'm so sorry. We're not here to judge, we're here to help. Mm -hmm. And so we've seen a lot, I've seen it all. And we want to come in and figure out, you know, most of our clients, they have all these bins and baskets and different trays and stuff and they're a lot of times just stuff piled in them or they're sitting in the floor or they're in this shopping bag they were in before it's finding the right tool oh, so it's finding out are you in my daughter's bedroom this morning it is the most common thing to have all the stuff because they mean well and the thing is i told you as we were talking beforehand a lot of times there's no shame in it it's just that's not your gift that's not your thing right i'm not great at a lot of things and I know in those cases, I get help from someone who is. Okay. We're just good at this. I guess I let my mind go with wherever I am <laughs> in my life. Mm -hmm. So I am in my life with a child about to graduate high school and head off. So I'm trying to get in those last bit of parental guidance, you mm -hmm. know, before the big jump. So for a teenager, let's say, mm -hmm. if you worked with them, what they're going to learn, I'm guessing, is how their brain works. There's some self-discovery in this, isn't there? There is. And we actually, funny, we actually, my, I have a son who's, I have three kids, but my youngest is 16. And about two years ago, he is super extroverted, always having fun, totally unorganized. <laughs> and his closet was insane. And I could talk all day long. I mean, I do this for a living. I could speak all day long about you know, let's come in and work on this. Actually, we had a little bit of time 
that we had downtime and I got my team in and they worked with him. Ah. And they were able to get to, so sometimes it's like just having someone uh -huh. who's not involved not in mom. day to day, not mom or not, you know, not, not even like someone who's a close friend, just having someone come in right. who would listen to them. And that's what he liked. We listen to what you do and what you want. And it's important to understand that I'm not trying to hyper fixate on this, mm -hmm. but if somebody else comes in and does the organizing for you and you're not a participant in it, that's where you can't maintain it. Mm -hmm. If you're, if you're kind of actively guiding it saying, well, this is how I work best. Mm -hmm. It's custom designed for you. Right. So what we may have a very similar space and this person's garage or closet or pantry may be vastly different than another person's, mm -hmm. but we it's spending the time up front. Now when we're on the ground, you know, working and doing it, it's a lot of physical work, finding like even we've even worked with when you bring in closet companies and they have some good ones in the area, mm -hmm. but we work with them to find out what is it that you need? Like when I moved into my new home, I met with a great closet company, but they were like, well, we usually have a focal point here and shell. And I'm like, no, I've got this many pairs of shoes. I have this much linear footage right. in my closet that I'm coming from. And this is what I need to have. I need function. And, and so I went, we had to go back and forth two or three times before we got what I wanted. Well, and that's what we can do is kind of give them a map of what they need to ask for. In the two minutes I have left, I'd like if it's appropriate to circle back though to the senior citizen part mm -hmm. uh, that you kind of began with, because change can be difficult as you get older. Mm -hmm. So, but you're also, your body can shift. So reaching up can be more difficult, yes. that kind of thing. So if you're working with someone in that situation, even if they're staying in their home, mm -hmm. are you mindful of that? Kind Absolutely, of and that's where I think we are a little different than a lot of places because our company began working with seniors and mm -hmm. moving and transitioning. And so we've got a ton of training on dealing with seniors and we know what to look for. We know when you organize, you know, we have a lot of clients that will work with them as they're getting older to make sure their home, they can age in place as mm -hmm. long as they can. So you're looking for walkways, you're looking for can they reach things? Mm -hmm. You know, there are certain things you can put up high, but you've got to be really aware. So we ask a lot of upfront questions right. and get to know what they need. And that's how it started. Um, I've had adult children buy that gift for people because mm. for their parents, because I've had parents buy it for their children, adult children. Yeah. I mean, I get a lot of times where they just say they need some help and I'm not the one that's going to be able to do that for them. Basically, if you have a space, you can use her because yes. <laughs> if we all have a junk drawer and we all have the hall closet yeah. where things get shoved and and we start with one space sometimes and they're like okay great right now let's go to this room and let's say this too <laughs> i show people she said i have this is kind of my gift i don't have i'm not gifted with everything but this is my gift my friends and i who are in our similar ages have found that if you just use what you're good at Mm -hmm. Your life ends up helping somebody else. Absolutely, and it's and it's fun. It's fun. Mm -hmm. So here's where you'll find her. It's Robin Blankenship at Next Chapter Transitions. Uh, the phone number is 615-9500. Mm -hmm. You also can go online, nextchaptertransitions.com. And if you call her, don't apologize for your clutter. <laughs> she loves the challenge. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Right now at Ashley Home.